Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Here we are once again with John Mariani, the virtual gourmet. How are you doing, John? I'm very well. John, uh, you have arrived at an opportune time. I have a question for you. Uh, there's a local chain around here that uh, purports to serve uh, barbecue. Mm -hmm. And uh, they used to serve jambalaya, which I loved. I went in there only for jambalaya. And uh, they stopped serving it. It's a really, you know, not a How dare they? Cajun cream. That's what I said. <laughs> I haven't been there in three years because they stopped serving jambalaya. But is jambalaya Creole food? As opposed to? As opposed to Cajun? A good question. It can be both. What? Uh, and there really is a distinction um, over what is Cajun, what is Creole, and is of raging importance to the raging Cajuns uh, down in Louisiana, uh, as opposed to New Orleans, which considers itself very much a Creole town. And uh, most people don't know the distinction and therefore sometimes make a faux pas when they go to New Orleans and say, boy, this is the best Cajun food I ever ate. And they would be politely corrected and say, well, you are not eating Cajun food. You are eating Creole food. But this is a gumbo I'm eating. I've had Creole gumbo. I've had Cajun gumbos. But yes, but this is a Creole gumbo. Okay. So here's the story. As we all know from high school when we're reading Evangeline, um, that long poem that uh, starts off, this is the forest primeval, the murmuring pines and the hemlock, bearded with moss on the pot. Well, it goes on for about another 20,000 lines I won't, I won't recite. But Evangeline is about an Acadian girl who, with the Acadians, French Acadians, who founded New Rochelle, New York, where we grew up, um, the Acadians came from Nova Scotia, and they were religious dissenters. Of course, they were Catholic. And the British booted them out. And the Acadians came down to live in Louisiana, which is about as far climatically as you can possibly get from Nova Scotia. Um, in Nova Scotia, you can't have too many sweaters, and in, in Louisiana, nobody owns one. Um, so they got down there, and Acadians became shortened into a patois, so the Acadians were called Cajuns, Cadians, Cajuns. And they brought with them... Uh, their language, um, and they, for instance, they have a, um, a, a cookie which will scalloped edges, which is called petticoat tails. And if you look at it, you say, oh, I see it's little scalloped edges of the cookie. It looks like a petticoat, but no, 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 you'd be wrong because in French, in proper French, little cake is petit gâteau. So if you kind of stretch that out, petit gâteau, petit gâteau, petit uh, petticoat tales. So those are Acadian dishes. No, so those are Cajun. Okay. Now the Cajuns are backwoods people all over Louisiana living in the bayous. Okay. Eating roping alligators, wrestling them to the ground and so forth. Um, you know, in the great um, song Jambalaya by Hank, uh, Hank Williams, uh, Jambalaya, crawfish pie, filet gumbo. And tonight I'm going to see my Machera Mio, drink from jars, play, um, play guitars and be gayo. Um, uh, and tonight we're going to have our fun of the Bible. Well, those dishes that he names, crawfish pie, jambalaya and stuff, are in fact Cajun. But if you go to, Louis, to New Orleans, which is a Creole town, I'll get to what that definition is, in, in some of those dishes are also to be found. Uh, in Creole cooking, you will find jambalaya, uh, you will find gumbo, but gumbo specifically is a good um, uh, a good uh, leveler. In Creole cooking, the spices are not as um, intense. They don't use as much chili pepper, and um, they will use sassafras or okra, but these are things that in the Bayou country will really be pronounced and will have very, very strong flavors to them. So ba it's backwoods cu cuisine uh, in Cajun country, and, K and, and Creole cuisine comes from um, the... Uh, Creole is a very um, 
ambiguous word. It sometimes refers to Caribbean cultures, the Creoles of, of, uh, of Haiti, the Creoles of uh, St. John's and so forth. Um, it's the native people who have intermarried. There, is, there always has to be an intermarriage uh, um, uh, accent to it, except for some of the Creoles in New Orleans who believe to be a true Creole bell. You have to have a debutante pedigree that goes back to the original French settlers in New Orleans. Um, not many people could uh, say that today because there was so much intermarriage. And Creoles tend to m mean it's got another word for a mulatto or a very light skinned black person. OK, so but Creole also encompasses all of the other cuisines that came into uh, into New Orleans, Italian, Spanish, uh, Choctaw Indians, which had much more of an influence on, on Cajun food. But they did pride themselves on being French based. And so that all of the restaurants in New Orleans, um, up until recently, when there was some Cajun restaurants like Cape Paul's Louisiana Kitchen coming in. But up until recently, almost all of them were French restaurants, Antoine's, Broussard's, Arno's. Uh, you would open up the rent menu, and for the most part, it was completely um, um, all in French. So you'd have a filet of sole monet, and you'd have, if you, if you had crawfish, it would be not crawfish, not even crayfish, it would be écravisse, you know? And uh, potatoes, uh, pommes de terre, La Clemenceau, Clemenceau being the prime minister of uh, France back in World War One, you know. So, and in um, only about ten years ago, did Antoine's, which was the first restaurant in Louisiana, it opened in eighteen forty. Only about ten years ago, they started printing under um, uh, Dover Sole uh, Morday what that was in um, in English. So, Creole food is likes to think of itself as being much more refined but it's much heavier than classic French cuisine in France. And Cajun food prides itself on being uh, swamp people food, um, very, very gutsy, um, either cooked for a long time or made a lot of sausages like boudin and andouille. Um, they, they never waste a morsel of the pig. You'll find barbecue there. You won't find barbecue in New Orleans. So that's basically the difference. And so don't make a mistake next time you go down there. John, do you hear that? Uh, I'm going to order jambalaya wherever I am. So it doesn't <laughs> matter. Okay. So all this doesn't really matter to you. You know jambalaya. That'll work that, for you. That I do. And a good filet gumbo. Okay. <laughs> Anyway, thank you again, John. A wonderful uh, explanation. Love. Um, uh, I'm waiting for Coleman and I are going to go out, and he's going to order me some uh, Creole food. Yeah. Uh, it, no, that, C Cajun. 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 Oh, that's right. You're a Cajun dude. <laughs> Thanks, John. Bye-bye. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends, Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life.